video is going to be a fashion haul for some things that I've got from the Boxing Day sales. I don't know if it's still counted as Boxing Day sales if it's like January by now, but these are all things that I've found recently that have been a really good deal. So I'll get right into it. First thing I'll show is actually what I'm wearing, which came from Dottie. So it's this yellow play suit with kind of like a paisley print all over it. This was only $25 and originally I think it was $50. So I'd say that's a pretty good deal. It's super duper comfortable. It's not the most stretchy fabric as you will see. So when it's really, really hot, it can actually get a bit sticky and annoying, but for the most part, I love it. The other thing that I got from Dottie were these shorts. Now, I'll mention it really quickly. You're going to see a lot of denim shorts in this video. I just went denim short crazy, so I figured I'd mention that quickly, but I got these white shorts here. I think I got them for $20 off the top of my head. They weren't too expensive. They were on their little sale table, so that's what kind of drew me towards them. I also went to Factory because they had quite a few deals and sales going, so first thing I grabbed was this sleeveless kind of loose billowy black top. This was only $10 I believe so it was really cheap. So the top of it does have elastic to stick around your chest and then down at the waist here it's also got some elastic so it cinches in and then it has this little ruching at the bottom here so I thought it was a really really interesting shape and it's very flattering on. I also grabbed two pair of two pairs of shorts from a factory. So this first pair, I think it was, hang on, let me have a look, $15. So they were really cheap. I don't own any black shorts at the moment. All of mine, I kind of grew out of. They got too small for me. So I had to buy a new black pair. So I got these. Normally I'd like the bottoms to be a little bit more raw and not so sharp cut, if that makes sense. I find that a little bit more flattering if it's got a frayed edge, but for $15, I could not let them go. So I picked those up. And for these, I picked up in a size 10. Normally I'm a size eight, but for some reason in factory, I feel like their shorts are really, really small, especially around the waist. So I got them in a 10. And then these are the other pair, which I bought in an eight. So there you go. That's how like inconsistent their sizing is. But these are the, actually, I don't know what style they are, but they're just a light blue. They do need a wash. So if they look dirty, that is why. But they're just a pale blue with the rips at the bottom here. They're not my favorite pair just because I don't know if you can see, but the hem rolls up and that drives me insane. I find it so uncomfortable when the hem rolls up. So they're not the best quality, but I still really like the color. So I picked them up. I think they were $35. From Valley Girl, I picked up just a couple of things. I feel like they've got a lot in stock at the moment, but none of it's really my style. It's either really floral or really casual, which I'm kind of in between. So I only picked up a few. This first piece here is a silver top, which was only $5. It was on one of their sale racks and it turned out to be $5, which is insane. So as you can see, it's a nice metallic silver color and the straps are really nice and simple. It reminds me of the dresses that I got for Christmas. If you saw my Christmas haul, that's what they remind me of. I like these really delicate kind of stringy straps because I feel like they're really flattering on my body shape. I'm quite short and petite and narrow. So I feel like spaghetti straps kind of flatter my body type. So yeah, I picked that up again, $5. And then the other thing that I got from Valley Girl was this skirt here. Now I don't wear skirts too often, but I would like to wear them a bit more. So that's why I grabbed this. So it's a light blue color, but it has pearls all over the front. So I thought it was a really nice, pretty take on a basic denim skirt. Um, the fabric of it is really stretchy too. So it's super duper comfortable. And the back is just plain like that. I did get it in a 10 just so it's a little bit longer just because I feel like skirts nowadays can be really short. So I picked it up in a 10 and you can still see how short it is. The next pair of shorts I'm gonna show you, I don't know how to say the store because I've never bought anything from them before. Um, I'm gonna try and guess, is it Dep Jibba? Jakuba? I don't know. Um, I'll put the name on the screen here, but I picked up these shorts. They were originally $80, but I got them for $40. They had 50% off. Now, I'm normally not someone who spends a whole lot of money on shorts. I would never spend $80, but for $40, these are amazing quality. I can see why they were priced at 80 because it's a really, really nice soft denim and they're really, really comfortable on. I got these in a size eight. So yeah, I think I've found a new favorite store for shorts because while I like all of the other styles that I got, the quality of these are amazing. So I'm definitely gonna go back when they have more sales and hopefully get some more pairs. Actually going back to factory because I forgot two things. I got two pairs of jeans. Now, like I said, they had crazy sales on at the time. I'm not too sure why, but these jeans were $15 each. So yeah, amazing sale. So I got them both in an eight. So first pair is this lighter blue 
it's not a light blue, but it's a lighter blue to this. Um, I guess you would call it a medium indigo blue. But my most favorite part is the hem at the bottom here. I don't know if you can see, but they're kind of ripped off and I don't know. It looks really raw and nice and that's kind of my style. I like things to be a little bit ripped. So I picked these up. These are called the Frankie Jean. The other pair that I got are these ones here, which are also called the Frankie Jean. So it's the same style. It's just the darker blue. And the hem is just a regular, normal stitched off hem. Like there's no raw edge. So again, I picked those two up for $15. I did not need jeans right now. It's way too hot for them, but when they're that cheap, you can't say no. And then the final few things are from H&M. Now, H&M, I feel like is very hit and miss for me. I find things and I'm like, yes, I want everything, I want everything. And then I'll go another time and I hate everything in the store. So for me, it's very hit and miss. But I did pick up some tops, which obviously I need some tops to go with all these bottoms that I'm wearing. So first one is this spaghetti strap little top here. It's a white and black polka dot singlet kind of style. Um, it's very, very basic, very plain, but I love this polka dot kind of pattern at the moment. I feel like it's really trendy and very simple, but it can actually look really nice and dressy as well. So this was only $15, I believe, and I wore it in my last video if you want to see that on. I also picked up a similar pattern but just in a different color and also a different style. This was on sale for $10 and it's this halter neck top with frills around the side like that. So this one, I did not try on, I just bought it because it was $10 and it is a little bit big for me under the arms. So I wish I did go a size down. This one's in a size eight, so I wish I went to six, but what can you do, it's $10. So um, yeah, under the armpits are a little bit big for me. It does show my bra a little bit, so I'm gonna have to kind of tuck it into my bra to stop that from happening. But for $10, I thought it was a really, really nice buy. And then the last thing from H&M is this plain gray t-shirt here, but on the front it says, let's go bananas. So I love just plain t-shirts to chuck on every day, but I love it when they have a funny little slogan on them. I just think it adds a nice little bit of character to your outfit and it just shows a bit of your personality, I guess. So I picked this up. I think it was also $15 off from my head. Again, the t-shirts there aren't the greatest quality, like they're kind of see-through, but what can you do? But yeah, that's basically everything that I wanted to show you guys. So like I said, it's just a quick little one, but these are all of the things that I've picked up recently on all of the Boxing Day sales. Like I said at the start, I don't know if it's still counted as a Boxing Day sale. There's still a lot of things on sale in store, so that's what I've been buying. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.